on a friendly shore the love boat soon we'll be making oh are we on yes i'm talking about marathon mondays with mal live and direct from the rainy confines of marathon's corporate headquarters the mothership if you will coach 1257 a new consignment i love this coach there's so much to show you about this coach this comes out on a slide out barbecues it's just it's fantastic you got a refrigerator freezer back there it's raining out here so i'm not going to pull it out but this coach 1257 i think you guys can go back into the archives of our show i have said this is one of my favorite paint jobs of all time i love how this looks on the X3. I like how a lot of paint is integrated into the stainless of the sides of that X3. 1257, a new consignment. This one is available. So let's go inside. I'm gonna show you the finer points of the floor plan and of this coach. There's some really nice features of it. So let's go inside, let's get out of this weather and head on in. Hope everyone had a good weekend. We got John and Abigail with us this morning. John, I'm gonna let you go in and settle into the salon. First thing I wanna show you is the cockpit. Come on and take a look at this, John. Take a look at this, this beautiful dash in these seats. I love the color of the dash, this, this wood grain that's integrated into the dash. This is a fantastic coach, you guys. Coach 1257. All right. Hope everyone had a good weekend. I love the fact that I came in this morning and 1257 here on consignment. So in the... Uh, Right here in the salon and galley, we're going to talk about a few things. The sofa has a nice covering on it right here, a protective covering, but it's a full leather sofa uh, and a full leather dinette. But you've got two chairs. That's right, I said two chairs because as you know, this guy swivels around. So the co-pilot seat will swivel around and provide for that uh, extra seating here in your salon. Um, a good size occasional table. We opened up all the blinds this morning so you could see all the natural light. Uh, your standard smart TVs, your Samsung uh, 4K smart TVs, not only here on the slide out on the driver's side, but behind me coming down over the cockpit. Uh, look at this beautiful floor, John. Goes really well with this grayish taupe theme that runs throughout the coach. Countertops are beautiful on this coach. Also, all the natural light that comes in through the galley. I really like that. They've got some cool uh, Disney uh, decor in there. Other than that, I want you to take a look up here. Look at that shell. That's pretty. Yeah, I threw some backlighting on it so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to switch sides with John here. All right, moving into the galley, you've got that GE Advantium 120 profile. That's uh, tried and true in most luxury RVs. Uh, good size sink, good size uh, cooktop, of course, your dishwasher. Moving over to the galley, uh, excuse me, the dinette. You've got that L-shaped dinette with storage behind and storage below and storage above. Of course, you've got uh, the pivoting out uh, dinette table that also moves in and out with the push of a button. Uh, so that gives you the flexibility. Lots of room in this floor plan. A double slide X3, high ceilings, lots of room here provided by this slide out. Refrigerator freezer, Sub-Zero. You guys know that already, I love that. Oh yeah, 
spice rack out of the side there. That's cool. Let's move our way this way, John, into this shower. One of the best features of this coach. And the reason that I say it's one of the best features is because of the beauty of the tile work in there. It's almost like an extension of the floor. It runs right into the shower and the shower is really large. And we, and uh, take a look at the size of that seating that is in the shower. It has a very large seat. And to give you kind of a dimension, I'm gonna sit in there so you can actually see just how big this shower is. I really like the tile work that's on here. That's really pretty. That's a continuation of the backsplash tile that you see throughout in this coach. Take a look at the water closet here. There's also a TV in the water closet. It's just a really beautiful coach. This one just became available. It is a consignment, fully maintained at Marathon headquarters. This coach is needs nothing. So for those of you who are looking for a really good coach, uh, a late model, 1257 is a really good choice for you. Moving into the bedroom, you've got carpeting uh, floors that looks like it's been very well taken care of in here. And you've got lots of solutions for storage. I'm gonna go over some of those right now. Shirt closet. As soon as you move in on the driver's side, you've got a large shirt closet with lots of storage below. Four drawers here, plus look at the deck. It, it extends around, so you have this whole deck area here. I like the fact that, it's, that you have deck in the front of the cabinetry here that extends on each side of the bed. That's really cool. Of course, as you see the bed, which is a king size, is uh, moved up so that it creates more room here in the bedroom. But you've got natural light coming through behind the bed and of course across from the bed underneath the TV. Storage below and above on the bed here. And the sconce lights are turned on. They also are dimmable. While John's standing there, I'm gonna show you some features on the ceiling. How about a ceiling accent? Not my favorite color, but it's there. Color select button, I hit that, it rotates through the colors. So you can actually select whatever color you want for your ceiling accent. Now I'm gonna turn that off, and I'm gonna go with the center ceiling lights. Adds just a little flavor to the ceiling. Also, those are you can make them as bright or dimmable. That is a good feature. We're gonna turn those guys off. Oh no, let's bring them all the way up. There we go. We brought them up and if I hold it, see how it's dimming? All the way down. So they're still on, but I dimmed them so it just adds a little bit of uh, character to your ceiling. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, storage. Tons of storage across from the bed. Take a look at all of this down here and on each side of the television. 48 inch Samsung Smart TV across and here's more of that beautiful backsplash and a lot of natural light here across from the bed. Uh, an occasional sink, that's what I call it, so that if you've got people that are uh, needing to brush their teeth at the same time someone's in the water closet or wash their hands, you have that achievable here in the bedroom. Now. John, I'm going to have you back up just a hair back into the midship, and I'm going to open this closet because I want to go over the two closets in this coach. Here's closet number one. On the curbside, take a look at the size of that closet. you got a four-foot hanger bar up there. Oh, it's a little bit longer than four. It's, it's about four and a half. Plus, you've got storage on both sides. You've got two drawers, and then you've got these right here. This is a really unique thing, and a lot of times you guys have seen where we've put a um, ironing board right here. Well, instead of an ironing board, you've got a spot for everything from 
you know, Clorox bleach to cleaners, um, toilet paper, whatever you want to put in there. It's just a really nice area. But this is a good size closet that I'm standing in. Um, also, you've got um, the Dyson hookup in here, which is really nice. All right, moving to the very back, here's the largest closet. in the coach. Another four foot hanger bar up here, washer dryer, audio visual on this side. You've got a drawer here, which is on the driver's side that gives a lot of storage, but this is a big closet. It provides you with all kinds of options for stacking items here or down here on the floor, but you've got your washer dryer up in here. And at six foot, I'm standing up in here. So, if I stand all the way up, my head just touches the ceiling, but I can actually move around in here. So it's a big closet. You've got two big closets in this coach, plus the shirt closet, tons of storage over here, and then you've got your bays below. So this is one of those coaches that has a ton of storage in it. Let's move our way out towards the front of the coach, John, and we will show a few more things before we get out of here. This has always been one of my favorite coaches. It is a West Coast coach. And uh, so it has always been maintained here at the mothership in Coburg. And it's also spent a lot of time down in Indio. For those of you who know uh, the Indio area there uh, with our three parks that we spend a lot of time at, Desert Shores, Outdoor Resorts, Indio, and of course, Motor Coach Country Club. Um, occasional table. Here is very large, also has the cocktail pullout, which is really cool. And right in front of John, and you probably can't see it on camera, is a nice fireplace. You turn all the lights out in this coach, and at night, you turn on that fireplace, and it's really going to give you... There you go. Thank you, John. That's really cool. I'm a big fan of that, um, of that fireplace. But as you can see, tons of natural light. This coach is available. Email me, malw, M-A-L-W, at marathoncoach.com. It is a fantastic option for you. Uh, consignment. I think we've got a few uh, comments or questions that Abigail's going to throw us. She's got her mic on. So, uh, John, let's, uh, let's take some questions. Abigail, what do you got for us this morning? Um, yeah, a friend. I want, I want to make a, I want to make a reference. I love your jacket and you're on camera. It is rainy and you are dressed appropriate. I'm like, I'm like that talking is your, about the I'm going to come stand with you because that is your, <laughs> that is your McGruff crime dog jacket. Stop. For those of you who know McGruff, the crime dog, ah, take a bite out it, of crime. It does. I love it. I need that. I need it's like a little a Carmen San Diego, but it's also McGruff, the crime dog. Yeah. Okay. Break it down. I do love me some true crime. All right. So, uh, Ron DeMario, our friend. Yes. Uh, says, question, can the washer and dryer be used while in transit or does the coach have to be stationary and leveled? It, it, no, it doesn't have to be. It does not have to be leveled and stopped. You can use your washer dryer while you are driving. Now, you just have to make sure that you are using, uh, the proper, you know, you, you don't want to overload your system. That's one thing. So when um, owners, owners can get that uh, taken care of with a little bit of a tutorial. But yes, you can use the washer dryer while you're driving. And honestly, as far as I'm aware, um, that's all the questions because people have asked a couple, but um, I was quick to answer them. Um, yeah. Like Juan Lugo uh, asked if, and you already said it, if you could change the lights in the ceiling and we can. We can cycle through Absolutely. All the LEDs. That's right. You can cycle through. There's uh, one of the beauties of Marathon's uh, lighting engineers is that they give you lots of options. So your standard thing are these puck lights. I don't want to throw your camera off too much, John, but the standard lighting in a coach is like these little puck lights, um, LED puck lights. They don't take a lot of energy. They don't put off a lot of heat, uh, actually no heat at all. And um, they're really a good, efficient way to bring a lot of light into the coach. But from a, an aesthetically pleasing style, the ceilings in marathon coaches have all kinds of different options. So right now in the salon here, we have them all turned off. And this is kind of a special request. Um, Derek White <laughs> says, I came in late. Can I see the outside? Absolutely. 
Let's start. Let's end it outside. There you go. And we will show Derek and everybody else. The exterior is my favorite part of this coach. I've always said Marathon Coach number 1257 is one of the prettiest coaches that we've done. Uh, I like to use the word dynamic a lot uh, when, I, when we talk about coaches, but it's just, it's stunning. And driving down the road, and I have seen this one driving um, down the road, it is just beautiful. Who does? Oh. <laughs> there it is, Coach 1257. I know my wife and, and my little Henny are watching right now. So good morning, Henson. Uh, hope you guys have a good morning and hope everyone out there that's watching has a good morning. Um, Coach 1257 is available, so don't sleep on this one because if you sleep on it, it's going to be gone. Mal W, M A L W at marathoncoach.com is my email. Reach out to me. Let's talk about it and talk about getting you into a marathon, whether you're upgrading or this would be your first marathon. All right, you guys, be yourself and do good things. Take care of each other. It has stopped raining. We're going to get out of this uh, windy weather, though, and uh, head inside and see what's going on. We will see you next Monday. Um, yeah, have a good week.